I am wearing this sweater today because I'm freezing and I feel festive. It has a polar bear on it. I'm cute. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Welcome back to my main channel. So this week I wanted to do a really funny video about the time that my friends and I were on X Factor and my sister. So this was back in about, I think it was 7th or 8th grade for me, so like a few years ago. I'm not good at math, I'm sorry. But <laughs> it was a few years ago and my sister somehow pulled off getting tickets for free. I don't know if she did it through like Twitter or something, but like so she somehow got these tickets and my mom was like pretty skeptical if they were like true or not, I don't even know. But my sister pulled it off, she printed these tickets from online, they were legit. They told us like when to go and everything, so um, I took my best friend Lily. Okay, so it was me, Allison, my mom, and my best friend Lily in 7th grade, we're still best friends now. But we all went to X Factor and we were just mind blown the whole time, so let's get into it. So we got to um, X Factor, it's about like an hour or two from my house. I'm pretty sure just like an hour, not even. But um, we got there and it was so crowded and this is like the peak time for X Factor. Like everyone was watching X Factor, everyone loved it and all the talents from X Factor were being like super successful and they were doing great. So we went to this area on X Factor and like it was this huge line and the cameras were like coming up and down like the aisles of the um like the lions? I'm not describing that, like the lions. And they're like, some come say hi. So like Lily and I were like, hi. <laughs> like we were wearing like, these cute dresses. I'll insert a picture here of what we were wearing. And like we were super close to like the stage area. So like that's a picture. And it was crazy because like these tickets are free. And like I don't know if it's for all on camera audiences that the tickets are free. But after we kind of just, like did like the aisle waving, we went into our seats and we literally came so close to like Simon Cowell and like Paul Abdul. And it was, I don't even know who else. It was like Simon Cowell, Paul Abdul, I think it was, um, I don't know. I don't remember which season it was, but it was really funny. And like we just saw all of them and we went and saw, like, <laughs> we went and sat down in our seats. And we were like pretty much close to the stage, like I said. And it was really cool because like the lighting was like all like the show and like the backdrop and everything. Like, it was such a surreal experience for us. Like, we all thought it was, like, so amazing. So we're all sitting in our seats, and they're just kind of getting everyone to sit down. There were tons of people coming in. Like, it was such a filled stadium. Like, everyone was sitting down. And once, like, everyone was in their seats, they were just kind of like, okay, guys, like, when we hold this sign up, make sure you're clapping. When we, like, hold this sign up, you're sitting, you're, like, laughing, all this stuff. So Allison and Lily are taking this very seriously. My mom was just, like, mind-blown that my 13-year-old sister pulled all of this off because, like, we had no idea this was even a thing. And she caught us, like, such a great row. She has free tickets, and we're all like, on the X Factor. It was so crazy, and, um... So we're sitting down and we start the show and the host comes out and he just like he's not like the actual host like the live shows. I'm not sure if it was like Nick Cannon or not, but a host came out and started talking to us about like what we're gonna do, how we're gonna react to like certain things going on in the show. And then I think Nick did actually come out after and he was like, Alright guys, like we're gonna start the show, blah blah blah. So we're like all so high, like Lily Allison and I are like, yeah, and mom just like taking pictures like with, like for Facebook. She's like, girls, like you're doing great. <laughs> like, it was so funny. So after um, we were all like getting ready, the acts started coming out. And the crazy thing about the acts is like some of them were actually like so good and some other ones were like horrible. And like we didn't see half of them on TV, but then like we saw one act from like our audition on TV and we were freaking out. So... This first act comes on, it's this girl, like, I don't know, it was something with ghosts, like, I think she, like, ghost hunted or something, and she was, like, talking about it, and then she was, like, talking about, like, the spirits and stuff, and, like, it, I don't know, and she started, like, singing about it, and it was, like, very weird, because, like, we were so young at the time, I mean, not, like, that young, but <laughs> it was just, like, we didn't really like the audition, but, like, everyone could, like, boo and stuff, and they were, like, boo, and I, like, felt bad doing it. So we're all like boo and like they made us like do certain things and stuff and all the judges were literally so close to where we were sitting and we're like waving to them and they're like hi and like one of them looked over directly in the camera to me. I think it was Paul Abdul. I was like this is so cool. Like <laughs> so 
were talking to each other and then like the next act comes out he's like this really good singer and everything and he's like singing his heart out and everyone's like clapping really loudly like the people will give you cue cards to tell you how they want you to react so it's like kind of rigged like honestly because I always thought that everyone was kind of like reacting based on how they felt and then like it's like the close-ups of the people in the audience but like no it was all kind of rigged in that way but I also thought it was really cool because like everyone would react at the same time so that was another act and then there were a few other ones like they were pretty minor they only lasted a few seconds so they didn't really like them that much and some of them weren't televised like they wouldn't record the ones they didn't think were interesting so for some of the acts that would go by they would be like oh guys like we're not going to film this one or like okay next next because like they weren't interesting I guess and there were no cue cards for those so overall like it was a pretty interesting experience because a lot of it was rigged but some of it wasn't in the way that they were kind of just like very natural and like it was really interesting to see how the judges like spoke in person they were very like nice i feel like they're depicted in way more of like a negative light on tv because they want like more drama but like in person these people were so nice and the judges were like super cool so that was like my experience with the judges on x factor and like if it was rigged or not and then like my experience as an audience member overall it was like super fun they didn't let us have our phones out too much so i don't really have too much like to show you guys except for that one picture but I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, like this little inside scoop on the X Factor Live. Again, it was auditions, so I wasn't really seeing like a live live show, but it was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my main channel. I'll be posting videos all month here and every single day. So make sure to check those out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!